there are more lies in the people's history of the United States than truths. You write in your book, quote, Zinn did everything, misrepresented sources, omitted critical information, falsified evidence, and plagiarized. His rhetorical strategies included leading questions, logical fallacies, and ad hominem attacks. All Americans of goodwill, no matter their political views, should object to such perversion of the truth. What did Howard Zinn actually get correct, if anything, in his famous book? That's what makes it so believable. The history of the United States, just like the history of any other place, is not perfect. There were abuses. Slaves were abused. Our presidents have not been angels. No one was a saint. But this is the standard Howard Zinn puts up. I mean, there were excesses during World War II, um, bombing of civilians, and it was horrific. But the way he exaggerates and the way he fails to provide context and manipulates the evidence to do so reveals that this is a false history. It's actually propaganda. It's intended to make readers hate this country, see it as the most evil empire in world history. And he succeeds in doing that. Everything that he sets out to champion which I would agree with. Slavery was not good. <laughs> Bombing civilians is not good. These sins or flaws in American history, yeah, there is room for criticism of that. But the way he blows those out of proportion, presents them in isolation as if no other country had ever done anything on that scale, makes them unbelievable and false and is intent, rather than shedding light on a piece of history and exposing it, looking at it from all angles, looking at the nuances, you know, what was someone thinking? What kinds of restrictions did they have? What were the mores of the time? What were the laws? Instead of doing that as a legitimate historian does, Zinn paints with a broad stroke. It's a Manichaean history, as I say, it's, and others have said, it paints everything in black and white. There are good guys and bad guys, and there's nothing in between. And when I used to teach literature, I would try to expose my students to propagandistic literature. And I try to teach them how to distinguish between something that is legitimate art, literature, and something that is propaganda. And when you have propaganda, you have people who are angelic, flawless, and others who are pure evil. And I did that with a short story by Richard Wright. And in that story, which was written when he was involved with the Communist Party, it was written to Communist Party standards. It showed all communists as being non-racist, as being kind, as being concerned about the poor and all other people were evil. <laughs> so that's not the way life is. It's not realistic. Howard Zinn does the same thing. He's not presenting history the way it really was, the way people experienced their lives or tried to do what they could uh, under their own circumstances. It's an attack. 